Welcome to our lesson on finding the equation of a line between two points. So we're going to begin by finding the equation of a line that passes between the points 5, 7 and 3, negative 1. And we'll write this equation in the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So the first thing that we do is we draw a sketch of the two points and the line. Now we have this sketch, we can work out the gradient. And the gradient we call m. And this is for change in y divided by the change in x. The change in y is the difference between the two y values, so y minus y1. This is, the, this is the difference between the 7 and the negative 1. And it's divided by the, the difference in the two x values, so x minus x1, or 5 minus 3. And we'll substitute these values into our equation. So n is equal to 7 minus negative 1, over 5 minus 3, which is 8 divided by 2, so our gradient is 4. And now we have our gradient, we can substitute this gradient back into our initial equation. So 4 is equal to y minus y1 over x minus x1. And now we need to choose a coordinate pair for our y and x values. I'm going to choose this one but this has positive values here. So I'm going to substitute in 4 is equal to y minus the 7, which is this value here, divided by x minus the 5, which is this 5. And now I'm going to rearrange this equation into this form here. So 4, lots of x minus 5 is equal to y minus 7. We'll expand the brackets. So 4x minus 20 is y minus 7. I'll carry this on over here. And we'll make the equation equal 0. So 4x minus y minus 13 is equal to 0. And this is the equation of this line. Do you want to try and work out the equation that passes through the points 2, 9 and 7, negative 1. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So again, I've made a quick sketch of a straight line and we're going to begin by working out the gradient. So n is for change in y, y minus y1 over x minus x1. We know the y values are 9 and negative 1 and the x values are 2 and 7. So m, the gradient is 10 divided by negative 5, which is negative 2. Now I can work out the equation of a straight line by putting negative 2 back into this equation. So negative 2 is y minus y1. I could choose either coordinate, but I'm going to choose this one because they're both positive. So y minus 9 over x minus 2. And now I'll rearrange this equation into this form. So negative 2 lots of x minus 2 is y minus 9. I'll expand the brackets and make the equation equal to 0. So this is the equation of the line. OK, let's move on. So now we're going to work out the equation of a perpendicular bisector. Now perpendicular bisector means the line crosses at right angles and halfway between the two points. So I'm going to work out the equation for question C. And I'll do this by drawing a quick sketch. Now because the two lines cross at 90 degrees, the gradient of the red line is the negative reciprocal of the blue line. So I'll say for instance this gradient of the blue line is m, the gradient of the red line will be negative 1 over m. So I'm going to begin by working out the gradient of the blue line. So m is equal to y minus y1 over x minus x1. The y values are 6 and 0. And the x values are 0 and 12. So the gradient of the blue line is negative 1 half. This means that the gradient of the red line will be positive 2, or just 2. But now we need to work out the midpoint of our line here. 
because we need a coordinate which a red line passes through. Well, halfway between 0 and 12 is 6, so the x value will be 6. And between 0 and 6 is 3, so the coordinate of the midpoint will be 6, 3. And I can use these two points now with our equation. So the gradient of a red line, which is 2, is equal to y minus y1, which is 3, over x minus 6. I'll arrange it into the form of a straight line. So 2 lots of x minus 6 is equal to y minus 3, 2x minus 12, and then I'll make the equation equal to 0. So 2x minus y minus 9 is equal to 0. And this is the equation of a red line. Do you want to try and work out the equation of the line which passes through negative 3, negative 2 and 9, 1? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So I'm going to begin by drawing the sketch of the line and the perpendicular bisector for question D. So we know the red line crosses the blue line at 90 degrees. So if we work out the gradient of a blue line, call this M, we know the gradient of a red line will be negative the reciprocal of M. So we're going to work out the gradient of a blue line first, where M is the change in y divided by the change in x. So we know the gradient of the blue line is 1 quarter. So this means the gradient of our red line will be negative 4. But now we need to work out this point here, which is the midpoint. We know the change in x between negative 3 and 9 is 12. So half of that will be 6, added to the negative 3 gives us an x value of positive 3 and the difference between negative 2 and 1 is 3 so half of that is 1.5 adding it on to the negative 2 we get negative 1 half so now we know that the red line passes through this point so we have a y and an x value so negative 4 is equal to y minus y1 which is negative 1 half over x minus the 3. And now we'll rearrange this equation into the form of a straight line. We'll expand the brackets out. And we'll make the equation equal to 0. And finally, I'm going to multiply every term by 2 to cancel this denominator here. So 8x plus 2y plus 23 will equal 0. And this is the equation of the red perpendicular bisector. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.